Hello everyone and welcome back. Today's session is going to allow you to spam your super within a few seconds with this easy to replicate needle storm build. Warlock strand supers have got to be one of the most simplest and strongest supers to use with how much damage it can inflict. Not only does the super track really well, but the damage has two phases to it, with the first hit detonating on the target and then breaking into threadlings right after for even more damage. Considering how strong threadlings are and how Bungie designed them, I thought why not build into the super so we can overall dominate areas with a little bit more ease. With Mantle Battle Harmony and Grapple, I'm going to show you a quick way to get your super up quickly, inflict high damage from all sources, and show you why this strand build could be useful in most endgame content. So buckle up everyone, I'm going to show you how to have some fun. To start, you're going to want to have Weaver's Call, where casting a rift will produce free threadlings and deploy any threadlings on you. You'll then want Mind Spun Invocation to enhance your grenade, which will be Grapple Grenades. Now, Grapple offers the most of players in terms of allowing us to both use our melee and grenade regen mods all in one. This allows us to build into both areas without needing to build into the stats itself too much. For me, I found that this allows me to build up my super much faster compared to just using Threadlings or Shackle, as the moment I grapple and net kill, it will do some AoE damage, but also shoot up some Threadlings as well. Considering that we'll be playing close quarters with the build, you may want to add on some additional mods that will give you that extra bit of protection against all types of enemies you face. Looking into the fragments, i chosen a setup that focuses primarily on enhancing our threadling damage and increasing our survival. A thread of warding, picking up orbs of power grants us woven mail. Thread of binding, super final blows emit a suspending burst from the target. A thread of generation allows damage to generate grenade damage. And a thread of evolution allows threadlings to travel further and deal additional damage. These are what I like to pick as the best option for the setup we are aiming for as we need to use our grapple as much as we can so that we can build up our super energy but also need to make sure that the protection provided will all be worth it. Now, having the option to use woven melt as much as possible is going to help you out in the long run with that 60% DR being applied to you. When this is active we can play more aggressive and use our grapple back to back if the build allows us to and from here we can build up damage we have threadlings done. It's simply to get the best out of the build, you're going to need to play a bit reckless at times and use your grapple when the opportunity shines. For the mods and stats section, you're going to need to have a lot of grenade based mods to help with reducing the cooldown rate for your abilities. Just like the threading grenades, grapple grenades will need to have a high discipline and grenade regen rate so that we can build everything we are doing into one and thus create the fast super regen we desire. So for this, you'll want to stick within the range of tier 8 to 10 as best as possible. But you're going to want to have the following as well 2 grenade kickstart mods, 1 absolution mod, and 2 bomber mods. Grapple grenades already have a relatively low cooldown rate compared to the other grenades offered, so combining this with our current base stat of tier 9 with the mods and thread of generation will be enough for you to easily get back your grenades after the first use. You can also add on the thread of wisdom fragment, which can allow you to create auto power as long as you net a precision kill while they are suspended, and this can work when combined with the thread of binding like shown. Only issue here is that you will need to swap out a fragment to achieve this. From here, some of the armor charges recommended for the build are charged up and stacks on stacks, which are going to be giving you a plus one to charge stacks, so you overall get four charges when active. And next you're going to want to have the heavy handed mod, so that your grapple grenade melee effect can produce all the powers on kill. And then the strand siphon mod for producing orbs of power via strand weapons if you have one. If you don't, then have the kinetic siphon mod on instead. Lastly, we have the ashes to assets mod so that we can get our super back quickly, and the form the wisdom mod for the plus 50 to intellect. I advise you to add on the time dilation mod as well to further support your form the wisdom mod, but I only recommend you do this if your intellect stat is at tier 4 to 5, so make full use of this. If not, then swap it out for another Ashes Assets mod instead. Once all the mods are covered, you should be good with grenade regeneration and seeing less chances of the grenade failing or the build in general. Resilience now can be at tier 6 to 10 depending on your mod space and how much space you have left over, while recovery is going to be at tier 7 since we will use all this but every now and then. Now lastly, the weapons being used will be strand and void related as I found a combo that works out really well with the setup. 
The Quicksilver Storm with its catalyst works really well with the build with allowing us to do good damage and create orbs of power very easily, along with working well with Battle Harmony. Although currently the weapon is bugged in terms of its damage, it still does good damage against all targets no matter what. Its grenade form allows us to one shot most majors if it's a body shot and the ability to create tangle allows us to set up death traps which can inflict even more damage if we shoot them. Personally, any strand weapon here can work and one with the hatching perk can definitely make the setup even more interesting thanks to the fragments. However, this weapon with battle harmony has allowed me to quickly build up both damage and super against groups rather quickly in the same manner as void volatile rounds or anything void volatile related. One hit from the grenade form can give you back a decent chunk of super energy, along with orbs of power and tangle on top. It covers all bases as it should do and it's generally one of those weapons that I do believe a lot of players should lean more into when doing strand related builds. I also decided to use the new Basso Ostinato shotgun with perpetual motion and destabilizing rounds. It's a rapid frame shotgun that works really well with the build and allows me to take out close quarter combatants who don't get finished off by the grapple attack. If you have this seasonal mod named Volatile Flow active, this will allow any void weapon to have volatile rounds for a few seconds, which on top of destabilizing rounds where final blow causes targets to become volatile, you can in practice have a constant volatile weapon on demand. This works out very well for the build and style we are aiming for. Like many Battle Harmony strand builds that will be coming quite soon, the following allows players to fully use the super as many times as they like as long as they build into the strengths and focuses onwards from there. Like many Battle Harmony strand builds that will be coming quite soon, the following allows players to fully use the super as many times as they like as long as they build into the strengths and focuses onwards from there. Utilising the new grapple grenade, it allows players to not only stay mobile but also smash directly into targets and cause a large amount of damage all within a single hit. The build can be customised further to where we can take up mods such as frontal wisdom and time dilation and just build more into the end you return for all of our abilities on the fly. Because of how this setup is done, it's going to be covering your bases to make sure that even if you don't have an orb of power available, you can at least still get super and grenade energy as you go, as it's important to always have a full backup in case of emergencies. Not only that, but I've also taken in mind how often we are able to use our grapple once armor charges are available, as having multiple ways to create orbs of power will not only further boost our super regen along with mantle and others, but if we choose to, we can add on a elemental weapons surge to enhance our weapons damage on top of the mantle self provided buff. In many ways, the build is like a reactor that allows us to retain the strength of the build for increased damage, or we can release the build up onto bosses and enemies alike and rebuild our foundation from there. We can go many ways with the build, but simply it's going to allow you to use that super of yours with enhanced thread link to pull off some serious damage. Now, Endgame wise is a bit of a hit and miss because of how risky it is to use your grapple grenades in highly dense areas. I would say anything legend to master tier I can see it working out relatively fine, but anything higher than that it will require the user to swap out your grenades and add on additional healer mods or weapons just a backup. Overall I had a lot of fun with this and thanks to Bungie, Grapple feels like it can become pretty crazy once more builds around it are done. But what do you think? So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on content share then please leave a comment below, but at the same time if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future then leave a like and a sub while here. I will leave a dim link for the build below and if you want more stuff like this then I have a playlist available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all. I hope to see you again soon.